Yeah, this is a sports bar on Talk Sport with me, Jamie Hart and Jason Cundy. An unbelievable night for the England women's team winning 2-1 against Spain in the quarterfinal. That puts them into a massive, massive game now in the semi-finals. Yes. Cannot wait for it. What a night for women's football. A brilliant advert. If there's anyone out there who didn't enjoy that game and is still saying, like they were a few weeks ago, and now nah, I'm not having it, it's boring to watch, not good, poor quality, I want to hear from you. They 03 phone up, 717 22 I don't they, think they will they, phone they, up. They won't phone up. They won't phone up. They, you know, they, 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 especially the first game. Um, loads of them phoning up, criticising. But tonight, it's impossible to, to, to point a finger at that and not, no, not say that that wasn't brilliant, brilliant, live, unscripted drama. That's what football is. Mm-hmm. It, it's unscripted drama. Tonight was was right up there. Yeah. Let's go to Graham, who's an England fan. Graham, good evening. Good evening, chaps. All, all right, right, Graham. Yeah, you're right, Graham. Go on. What do you want to say about tonight's yeah. performance? Yeah, um, the England manager. I think she realises that it's a it's a, a, a squad game, and she's not afraid to make these big decisions. Right, and I also think that she's not afraid to take any flack off, off the press or anything like that. Because if it had gone wrong, she'd have got some flack. But it didn't go wrong, it, right? It went right for her, and she knew what she was doing. I mean, and I think like some of the uh, other managers in, in the league can, can take a, a, a note from her book. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, you look, you, you, we've already spoke about it, Gareth Southgate, and it's hard to compare the two, we know, but big games, big moments. You know, Serena made some some brilliant decisions, and when you look back at some of Southgate's decisions, it's questionable. Yeah, she she's not afraid to make these these decisions. Like, don't I mean she, she she's brave. Like, don't I mean she, she knows the squad, she knows what they're capable of doing. Like, she's not afraid to to chuck somebody in there who, who's not not even played any minutes. She, one of the girls, I one of the girls played tonight who's not even been on the pitch. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like. You don't like these big names are all the time. Mm-hmm. You, you want to give other people a chance. Yeah. Well, yeah. she she made you got five subs and you got an extra one an extra time. She made she made all six. Yeah. You know, she changed over half the outfield team there and managed to get the right result. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Graham, thanks for your call. Let's go to Mark, who's a Leicester fan. Mark, good evening. Yeah, hi, good evening to you, fellas. You're all right. Yeah, hi, yeah, we're great, Mark. We're great. What what what'd you make of it tonight? Oh, it's brilliant. All I wanted to say was I've, I've followed football for a long, long time. I remember the World Cup 86 under God. Uh, Italian 90 against Germany and uh, West Germany and then against, again, Euro 96. Now, you know them games, it's where the, you, the, the, the adrenaline starts pumping and the excitement. I never, ever in a million years thought I'd feel that way about a women's game of football. But I watched tonight, I've watched all the England games, but tonight, we got that equaliser, I literally fell over the coffee table. <laughs> I, we got that winner. I mean, that goal from George, any guy would be proud of that. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, the Spanish girls, all right, they backed off, a, a, you know, a lad, but it, it's just the way she, she knew what she was doing. It was yeah. no fluke or anything. Anyway, that goes in. I bloody well hit the roof, and it's like... You're down the coffee five, table in the roof. Foot, what, <laughs> yeah, but it's like when you're when you're five foot six, but I managed to hit the ceiling with it, and the final whistle goes while I'm running around, and I'm still I'm, I'm still buzzing now. Yeah. And do you know what? If you want a, an advertisement for women's football, yeah. um, and just the technique of the women as well, and particularly the Spanish yeah. girls. Oh, they were, they were brilliant, I have to say. They Spain in the first half. Amazing. I mean, and some I of the passing... Say, yeah, I just feel so sorry for them in a way. But the passing and the girl who came on right at the end there, God knows why she's not been playing other games. For number Spain. 14. Is it number 14? Yeah. Is, it, is it her? Yeah. I mean, she was mm. just amazing. If they bought her on at probably after, well, yeah. earlier on. Yeah, maybe no, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Thing, but, yeah. but, and I agree with, with, with Jason what he says about Millie Bright. She was just outstanding. I yeah. mean, she was just yeah. an absolute yeah. rocker. A colossus there, at the back. So. Absolute mm. colossus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But all I've got to say is that's just anybody who had the doubts about women's football watching that tonight was yeah. it was just incredible. Proved really the doubters well. wrong for sure, Mark. Thanks for your call.